Would you like to release the bowling ball with the same consistency like the top professionals in the world? Well, today we're gonna work on a key foundation that every bowler wants to and has to master in order to be at the top. And it is guaranteed to help you improve your average. So if you're ready to learn how, keep watching. What's up my fellow athletes, welcome to Athletic Bowling, my name is Sandro and today we are on day 3 of 7 of my journey attempting to take my bowling average from 180 to 220 and beyond. I hope that you're ready because we're going to work on something that a lot of you are searching for on the internet. And of course I'm talking about our foundation number 2, the release and follow through. Our goal is to be able to control our release on every single shot while keeping the best follow through possible. We have a plan of action and all we have to do today is execute. So without further ado, let me show you. Attention, the following drills and practice routine do apply for all type of bowlers. I am not responsible if you experience side effects like throwing your first perfect game after watching this. Please proceed with caution. So how do we improve our release and follow through in order to drastically improve our game? We are going to do a variation of the foul line drill and we have to complete 50 reps. However, I am going to split the 50 reps by working on just two different roles. First, I'm going to work on my straightforward roll in order to improve how I pick up my spares. And then I am going to work on my around the ball roll in order to improve my strike shot. This is the practice routine. For the first 10 reps, I'm going to concentrate in creating a straightforward roll in my release, meaning that my hand begins behind the ball and ends up facing up. In other words, keeping my hand straight at all times in order to let the ball roll as straight as possible. All we're doing here is creating a strong mind and muscle connection. That's why practicing these drills while concentrating on the details is what separates the amateurs from the pros. After I'm done with my first 10 reps, I will go ahead and throw a normal shot in order to check how it feels the progress of my mind and muscle connection. For the next 10 reps, I'm going to concentrate in rolling the ball around. So, at the point of the release, our hand should start straight behind the ball and then go around it creating the rotation that we need to get strikes. And in case you're wondering how much axis rotation we are trying to create on this drill, I am aiming to about 25 to 30 degrees with my hand. So take a look at a few reps and how the ball is reacting on the lane. As you can see, I am not making a big effort in throwing it hard. I just want to roll the ball with my hand, starting from behind the ball and going around it as I release it. After we have completed these 10 reps, go ahead and throw a normal shot to see how that feels. And in this case, I am very happy with the results. Now on the next 10 reps, we're going back to practicing the straightforward roll, but only this time we're going to concentrate on the forearm and the follow through. This means that because we already did some drills to practice the forward roll, we are now adding the follow through to the recipe and make sure we are consistent with it. The follow through is key to allow you to repeat your shots and hit your target more often. And because I'm concentrating on my follow through, I'm not just dropping the ball at the foul line like I was on the first 10 reps. And I am also naturally adding more speed because of it. Did you notice how different it is from where I was only concentrating in rolling the ball forward on my feet and now lifting it up with my follow through?
after we have completed the 10 reps, again, we go ahead and throw a normal shot to check the progress. On a side note, would you like to look and feel like a professional bowler every time you step on the lanes without breaking the bank? Well, now you can with I Am Bowler. They have hundreds, if not thousands of unique designs to choose from. So you can rock your own style like a professional on and off the lanes. Not only that, but what I love about these jerseys is that they are designed with athletes like us in mind. They are made with high quality performance fabrics that allows you to stay cool and comfortable during intense games when you need them the most. That's why I have partnered with them to bring you a 20% off special discount on your next purchase. Just go to iambowling.com and use the coupon code SANDRO at checkout to unlock your special discount of 20% off. That's it for the break and let's go back to the video. Next, we have 10 more reps in which we will concentrate in having a nice follow through, but only this time while concentrating in rolling the ball around. The key here is that I'm not going to be just rolling the ball around but also making sure that my follow through is up and straight after I release the ball. This will in turn increase the speed compared to the previous set we did rolling the ball. You can see how they compare side to side right here. Again, after we have completed the 10 reps, we proceed to make another shot. Personally, at this point, I wasn't feeling great. But looking back into the footage, I noticed that I actually increased my speed and I wasn't dropping the ball as I usually do. And finally, we have 10 more reps to finish. So in this case, we'll split it in five reps concentrating in a straightforward roll and five more reps concentrating in a rolling around the ball. So in this case, we will just redo five reps with a straight release and five reps with around the ball release. And just to make sure how we're making progress, go ahead and record the next 10 shots to check how you're releasing the ball now. And this should be enough for day three. If you're wondering how long it took me to complete this training session, overall it was about 90 minutes. Make sure to save this video so that you can open it up next time you go to practice and you can complete all the drills without missing out on any details. All right, athletes, that was the practice routine for today. I hope that you learned something new. But before you leave, if you would like to improve your footwork and improve your shot making overall, make sure to watch the next video, which is day five of the series. All right, athletes, I'll see you in the next one.